Hey guys, this is Attila from ScrapingAuthority.com and today we're gonna talk about what you have to check out before scraping a website. Let's get into this. Let's consider scraping YouTube. There is no need to scrape YouTube because YouTube has got an official pretty decent API that you can use. And it's not just YouTube, there are many other sites that have an official API that you can use and even if that API doesn't contain fully the data you need you should reconsider scraping the website because uh, getting the data through an official API is always the best way okay the next thing sometimes there is no official API but we can find one a kind of hidden API. So let's go to this page. Uh, this is uh, LeBron James statistics. Let's say we want to scrape uh, some of this. Let's go here, inspect, inspect element, and uh, choose the network tab. And now we should uh, refresh the page uh, and choose the XHR tab. XHR stands for XML HTTP request, which is a sort of API, uh, and many of the sites out there use this technique to use this technology to send data from backend to frontend, and we can take advantage of this. I I'm going to show you how. So let's choose uh, this tab and. Uh, you can see here there are many uh, JSON and, and HTML files. We now we are looking for JSON and XML files. Uh, I can see only JSON files. So go here, and you can see uh, if you go here response. This is a sort of structured data, and um, and actually this JSON contains all the information that you can find here. All the information wrapped in a structured uh, JSON file. So now the only thing left to do is to figure out how the JSON is structured and uh, we can we can directly request J the JSON with this request URL. So if we put it into up there, paste it we get the JSON file and uh, it's super easy because we don't have to scrape anything it's right there a structured JSON and we got the data we needed and many times this is a uh, and many times this, this is working because as I said many sites use IOX requests or, or something like that to, to send data from backend to frontend Let's talk about sitemaps. Sitemaps are created for web crawlers like search engines. That's why most websites have a sitemap XML file because it helps search engines uh, gather URLs of the website. Also, it can help us gather URLs because we don't need to do that to find product uh, pages, product URLs. We can get the URLs from the sitemap XML file. This way it's much faster and simple. Well, we covered some shortcuts to gather data from websites. Now I'm gonna show you how to build, how to make sure to build an ethical scraper because it is very important and if you do web scraping the right way, you will have no conflicts with the website owners. So after you get the idea of building a scraper for a website, the very first thing you have to do is to check out the robots.txt. This file is probably at the root directory of the server and contains some rules that your scraper has to follow. This specific file contains uh, the pages that your scraper can visit and pages that your scraper should not visit you have to follow the rules defined here otherwise your scraper becomes unethical 
and that's definitely not a good thing. Last but not least, I have one more advice for you. Read through the terms of use of the website and look for the term web scraping or web harvesting or data extraction because if the website owner explicitly mentions that you should not scrape data from the website or harvest data or, or gather data from the website, then you really shouldn't do it. You shouldn't mess with it. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of these, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you later.